Chris and Andrew from Patio Town again. We're going to teach you how to do some garden edging today with uh, concrete blocks. To install garden edging, all you're really going to do is pick out your particular edging that you like, whether it be bullet edgers, pavers, handy edge. You can check out Patio Town for your best selection of garden edging. But when you're ready to install it, all you're really going to do is take a spade, cut out the area. Once you've got the soil and sod removed. Depending on the height that you want to put these edgers at, if you want them above the grass a little bit or maybe ground level, you're just going to include some sand for leveling and then you're just going to insert this right into that little trench you just dug. Um, bullet edgers are nice, they're going to create a nice straight or curved border. Another option we're going to look at is handy edge and again this can be installed at any height. You know, a really popular way to install concrete edging like this would be to, you know, remove the side and actually place the edging so that you can run your your lawnmower right over the top, you know, keeping you from having to weed whip everything. This block is tapered on both sides, which makes it really nice for consistent curves. And if we simply flip-flop the direction that we're laying the edging, it's going to start to build us a straight line. So this is a really nice option for, you know, consistent serpentine curves or nice straight lawn edging. Another option for curves as well as straight sections is just using a standard circle stone paver. These come in a tapered form, also like handy edge. A little bit smaller, a little bit thinner. These are going to be just as easy to install. There's a wide variety of colors. With circle stone, you're going to have some pavers that are tapered, and you'll have some that are rectangular. They have the same depth, and so they'll fit right next to each other. These go great if you're having a border that's right next to a patio that you just built out of the same color. And these even work just as well to edge along retaining walls or fences any sort of border that you have a hard time you know, getting a weed whip at or if you just want to create a low maintenance edge. You know, even as we uh, take a look here at what Andrew built, you know, it's a great example of one of the reasons I like to use, you know, the pavers actually as an edger. You know, not only can it tie in with, say, a cobblestone patio that you have, but you can see that it can make nice soft curves you know, with some of these other edgings, we're set into one angle, but because with the pavers, we are dealing with a rectangular piece and one that's tapered. And that's how you create a nice garden border for your yard. Check out more options at our YouTube channel or patiotown.com, or of course the three metro locations in Oakdale, Burnsville, and Brooklyn Park.